Stephen Sondheim, the master craftsman of the American musical, has died at the age of 91. His death, at his home in Roxbury, Connecticut, on Friday has prompted tributes throughout the entertainment industry and beyond. Andrew Lloyd Webber called him the musical theater giant of our times, an inspiration not just to two but to three generations, whose contribution to theater will never be equaled. Cameron McIntosh said, The theater has lost one of its greatest geniuses in the world and has lost one of its greatest and most original writers. Sadly, there is now a giant in the sky. But the brilliance of Stephen Sondheim will still be here as his legendary songs and shows will be performed forevermore. Over the course of a celebrated career spanning more than 60 years, Sondheim co-created Broadway theater classics such as West Side Story, Gypsy, Sweeney Todd and Into the Woods, all of which also became hit movies. His intricate and dazzlingly clever songs pushed the boundaries of the art form and he made moving and funny masterpieces from unlikely subject matters, including a murderous barber, Sweeney Todd, the Roman comedies of Plautus, a funny thing happened on the way to the forum, and a pointless paint. Sondheim raised the status of the musical, which had often been considered comforting and unadventurous family entertainment, and used it to explore adult relationships in all their complexity. While many musical theater creators specialize as either a composer or a lyricist, Sondheim excelled at both. After he had established himself on Broadway, he typically took charge of music and lyrics in his shows. Sondheim was born on March 22, 1930 in New York. His parents, who both worked in the fashion industry, divorced when he was 10. He was tutored by one of the greatest lyricists and librettists, Oscar Hammerstein, whose son he befriended at George School in Newtown, Pennsylvania. His first musical, written when he was 15, was the satire of that school, entitled by George. Hammerstein, said Sondheim, taught him that in writing lyrics the whole point is to underwrite not overwrite because music is so rich in art itself, 